So why did I drive three hours east to the driest part of Washington? Well, you see, where I'm standing right now and possibly where you're standing right now, inscribed into this Earth's surface is a story. A story so fascinating I had to come see it for myself. During the Pleistocene Epoch was a period called the Younger Dryas. It was about 10 to 13,000 years ago. Now during this period, we were locked in grips with some of the coldest weather known to mankind. It was about 15 to 25 degrees colder than it is on average today. Now, there was an ice sheet ranging from New York all the way to Washington State and covering most of the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, one was called the Cordelian Ice Sheet and one was called the Laurentide Ice Sheet. Now something happened to those ice sheets that will change our world forever. You see, in 1994, a comet hit Jupiter named Shoemaker-Levy 9. Jupiter's gravity is so immense that it usually pulls in comets before it hits us. So you can thank Jupiter for that one. Except for this one time 13,000 years ago. <laughs> the comet escaped Jupiter's grasp, hit our atmosphere, hit the Greenland ice sheets, and pretty much left the biggest flood ever. Now, when it hit, the ocean levels rise by 92 feet to 400 feet. Um, this was a phenomenon called Meltwater Pulse 1B. Right after the impact crater at Hiawatha Glacier, ice starts to melt. And what happens when ice melts? It turns to water, right? Underneath two miles of ice is a flood going so fast and so powerful, it's about 600, 700 million cubic feet per second. That's pretty much all the rivers in the world combined times 10 something the mind can't perceive, right? It ends up in a place called Glacial Lake Missoula in Montana. The lake was about the size of Lake Erie in Ontario combined, so pretty much a really giant lake. Now that lake was held by an ice dam. It breaks the ice dam, causing the biggest flood in mankind. And that's pretty much why I'm here. You can't fathom something like that. It's just unbelievable. So during the Pleistocene Age, before the Holocene Age, where we are right now, huge megafauna ruled the Earth. They walked amongst it with their ancestors. Animals like the short-faced bear, the woolly mammoth, the mastodon, the saber-toothed cat, giant beaver, uh, the Irish elk. These animals, they all went extinct. And up until now, scientists pretty much said that humans killed them all, which sounds insane to me and pretty much impossible. But like I said, up until now, up until we found what we found at the Hiawatha Glacier in Greenland, that was pretty much the explanation. Leaving absolute destruction in its wake here at the Wenatchee Cataracts, this place used to be waterfalls on waterfalls. Now, it's just barren. This would have made Niagara look like a broken kitchen pipe. <laughs> you see, this was one of the lowest points where the flood focused all its energy and just carved away this basalt rock right here. You see that side right there, the giant rock blade? On the other side of that is another canyon, which I'll fly the drone and let you guys see that. I suppose if the flood lasted another year or so, this whole rock blade in the middle wouldn't exist. So what's left of the Wenatchee Cataracts? Well, as you can see around me here, it's nothing but barren desert, a hiking trail, and little glimpses of nature of uh you see the waterfalls there and what i'm interested in is why the soil is good enough to nourish the farmland and wineries around here so to tell us that let's get my buddy joel from new zealand you probably know him as joel g uh, he knows a little bit more than i do so let's have him take it away after the impact on the hiawatha glacier the masala floods brought in a rich brew of minerals Easterly blowing winds then lifted these deposits from Western Oregon and Washington back to what is now the Columbia Valley. Accordingly, the soils for the perfect farmlands were born. Soils that are found nowhere else in the world, combined with an arid climate and cool evenings year-round, creates the perfect atmosphere for growing world-class wine. Now, May I add some advice when diving into this rabbit hole of the impact crater hypothesis? Not only will you be learning about what happened to the North Americas, 
but also events and theories all across the globe, from the megalithic structures of Gobekli Tepe in Turkey, which is an absolutely astonishing discovery, to the lost city of Atlantis that was quite possibly drowned by rising sea levels, and even learning about the hundreds of years of rain that caused the Egyptian Sphinx erosion.